So we're at this house. Our customer reached out to us originally before we came out here to do the work and they let us know that they thought they might have foundation settlement issues. We came out here, we walked around the perimeter of the house, we walked all throughout the inside of the house. Turns out they did have foundation settlement issues. So if you think you might have foundation settlement issues, you probably do. I'm gonna take you inside right now and show you a couple of the symptoms that will give you a clue that you have foundation settlement issues. On this house, we've got a couple really common examples of foundation settlement. One is visual, one is not so visual, but you can feel it. So for example, if you walk from this trash can over to this corner here, it'll feel like you're walking downhill essentially. Really common, that can apply to both slab foundations and raised foundations. Another really common example, which is visually, is cracks like these. We got one up here, we got one over there, horizontal. This large crack is about a quarter inch wide, indicative of foundation settlement. Uh, these are very common, again, apply to both slab and raised foundations. How do we fix a home with foundation settlement? Well, for example, on this house, which is a slab foundation, we've gone along the back perimeter of the house where there is foundation settlement. We've installed push piers along the perimeter, and then we've driven steel pipe down into the ground to the point that it's hit bedrock. Now, um, for some houses, that's all you need. You just need to get down to bedrock and then you can stop the foundation settlement from happening more in the future. But with a house like this, that's actually out of level several inches, what we can do is we can lift it hydraulically to the point that it's back to a level plane. 